What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are checking in from a new location today, Low Sapphire Falls. And we are invited out by them and Universal to try out the Bellhop Bar. So let's go see what they have to offer right now. in recent weeks and it's called the Bellhop Bar. So uh, it's a pop-up. It happens every night from 5 to 7 here at Strongwater, but also a bar is located at Lowe's Royal Pacific and Lowe's Portofino Bay Hotel. The man who can really tell you more and start with the unpacking of cocktails. Uh, a lot of you know Phil Klinkenberg. He is our associate director of food and beverage, or as I like to call him, Captain Phil. <laughs> Thank you. All I'm yours. sorry. All yours. <laughs> so thank you, thank you for coming. Thank you for uh, fighting the traffic. And as uh, Jen had said, the uh, so the Bellhop Bar is uh, is really about the humanity of travel. It's about creating uh, a ritual. You know, our daily ritual with the bar begins at 5 p.m. runs till 7 p.m. Where our uh, team uh, help create unique experiences for our guests. Uh, one of the things that we pride ourselves on at Lowe's um, is that you know we can do things that are uniquely local. And what we've done this evening with uh, with Portofino, uh, Royal Pacific, and then soon uh, when we unpack our bar, is uh, we've all sort of created a uniquely local drink to help you experience uh, and our guests experience a little bit of that. Um, you know, hospitality and travel are uh, sort of in Lowe's DNA. It's part of us. It's part of our family tradition. Uh, something that uh, that we take uh, very seriously because we're inviting people into our home so that they can make it their home for just a few days, right? So um, as we go, Fernando's going to help us as we uh, go and start to unpack you some cocktails and uh, get you started on your journey and your humanity of travel. Give you the <laughs> and the bar's open. Ooh, so, cool. so feel free, and what we'll do is, uh, the, so Portofino's here with Italy's Envy, uh, one of their featured cocktails. We have uh, the Royal Litatini, the featured cocktail from uh, Royal Pacific, and then we have the Island Envy that we're featuring from Sapphire Falls. But what we've done is, in partnership with Angels Envy, Hangar One, uh, Conundrum, and then uh, Buena Vista, the Count Wine, uh, is, uh, you know, these are the items that are specific to our Bellhop Bar and the ones that we're promoting uh, during this period, which runs until January 13th. So, um, Angels Envy, a little bit about the liquors. Angels Envy is a bourbon, it's a 200 year old distillery. Um, that bourbon uh, is aged in white American oak and finished in port wine casks. Uh, so it's got uh, it's got a, a very uh, delicious taste and texture, and you'll see that in Italy's Envy. And if you try the Island Envy from Sapphire, you'll get that as well. Uh, Hangar One Vodka is a pure, uh, clean vodka. It's actually distilled uh, by a master distiller, one of the only female master distillers in the country. It's actually produced in an old aircraft hangar, uh, so that's Hangar One Vodka, and that'll be in uh, the uh, Royal Vichitini or the Lemontini that we feature at Sapphire Falls. Uh, the Penundrum uh, Sparkling Wine of Blanc de Blanc uh, is a blend of uh, four varietals, which is Pinot Grigio, a Moscato, um, a Viognier, and Chenin Blanc, and then it's finished with uh, a Chardonnay. Right, and uh, which and it's a fantastic wine. And then Buena Vista Winery is the oldest 
premium uh, winery in California, in Sonoma Valley. Uh, the count, it's called, is named after um, their patriarch who opened the winery back in 1857. And it is a red blend uh, and, you know, a nice, uh, you know, hearty finish. Raspberry and cassis will be the prevalent flavors. Okay? So we'll be happy to serve you any of those cocktails or all of them. Uh, so, cocktails are served. Please enjoy. Yeah. I'm as I So we have a special guest here, Phil, and uh, we're gonna pick his brain for a quick second. Apparently he's behind all this behind him, the Bellhop Bar. Why do we have the Bellhop Bar? The Bellhop Bar is one of the ways that we create unique experiences for our guests. It's, uh, it's an old steamer trunk that uh, harkens back to the days of the golden age of travel. Travel and hospitality are sort of uh, enrolled in our DNA in uh, those hotels. And it gives us an opportunity to create these unique experiences for our guests. Now, of course, one of the comments that I had is it almost looks like a wheel up lemonade stand, but in the adult version, I kind of like it. It looks very neat. Can you tell me about some of the design that went behind this? Sure, well, it is based on an old steamer trunk. So uh, it was, you know, custom designed to fit the four brands of uh, alcohol that we're using that are helping us sponsor the program, which is Angel's Envy Bourbon and Hangar One Vodka, along with Conundrum, Blanc and Blanc Sparkling Wine, and the Count from Buena Vista Winery, that's known in California. And uh, it's custom built to suit the double uh, old-fashioned glassware that we have, fancy ice creams that we have, special uh, drawers for holding uh, backup glassware, hanging wine glasses and things like that. It's literally the perfect bar for you to throw in your house or have in your, your garage. Yeah, and I've actually heard you said several people have inquired about possibly having one to take home. So uh, obviously it's a very unique design, one that's catching a lot of eyes. I do like it. Now, one of the last questions I have is you said there's a lot of different drinks. Do you personally have one that you like? Is there one that sticks out in your brain? Sure, and you know, we're featuring, um, the Bellhop Bar is a feature at Portofino Bay Hotel, Royal Pacific Hotel, and then Los, and Sapphire Falls Resort here. And uh, so each of those uh, hotels have created a unique drink with each of the liquors, the Angel's Envy Bourbon and the Wine. I prefer the Island Envy, which is uh, our riff on an old fashioned here at Sapphire Falls Resort, which is Angel's Envy Bourbon and Fee Brothers uh, bitters with a bit of maraschino. And, uh, and then you also have uh, from Royal Pacific Resort, they do, we're featuring the Royal Lichitini, which is the Hangar One Vodka Lichit Juice Lemon Juice. And we also have uh, the Italy Envy, which is using the Angel's Envy Bourbon, their own house made ginger pear syrup, as well as a little amaretto. It's a fantastic cocktail as well. I do prefer the one that's a little stripped down and a little bit simpler, which is the Island Envy. Nice. And uh, I'm excited to try it out, Phil. So thank you so much for speaking with us. And uh, good luck for you guys here with the Valhalla Bar. My pleasure. Thank you. All right, so we're about to try our very first drink, the Angel's Envy Bourbon. And uh, right off the bat, I can smell some of that smokiness from it. And then there's almost like a hint of citrus to it. So it uh, does have that hint of smoke and citrus. Really kind of interesting uh, going on in the nose. Let's try it out now. Right 
off the bat, it's not like smack you right in the face like with the smokiness, but it's really good. Smoke kind of comes later on once it's actually been ingested. Uh, you do get a little bit of the citrus. It's not going to burn all the way down like some bourbons do. Um, scale of 1 or 10, I would give that one maybe a 9 to a 9.5. It's actually pretty smooth. This would be the kind of drink that I'd want to order and just sit out and relax and sip. It's not one that you want to pound down really quickly as it's pretty strong, but uh, overall, I do have the Envy and it's pretty good. Alrighty guys, so we're at the next station and I'm seeing a lot of citrus things and uh, this lovely lady right here is going to demonstrate our next drink. And what do we have? So this is called our Royal Lichitini. This is something that we are making over at the Royal Pacific Resort. So what we do is we take some fresh raspberries, we muddle it along with our Hangar One vodka, some lychee juice, and then fresh lemon squeeze for some lemon juice as well. And that is going to make our Royal Lichitini. So what we're going to do now is I'm just going to show you our experience here of putting in our ice cubes and then going into I know it sounds weird to comment on ice cubes, but those are some nice ice cubes, they actually. Are. They're really yeah, so awesome. We have a special little machine to make sure that they're, um, that they're pretty uniform. So this is our Royal Lychee Teeny. That looks Look delicious. Yes. Already, it almost looks kind of like a little bit sweeter. The other one that we had was kind of a darker. So this is definitely a little bit on the sweeter side, but it definitely still packs your punch of your martini. You definitely will taste that vodka into it as well. Woo! So then our fun little bellhop napkins as well. They differ as you go through their different drinks. That's awesome. Yeah. Thank you, Miss, so much. Thank I do sure. appreciate it. My pleasure. Have a great night. Thank you. Take Thank care. You. you too. All right, so it's time to uh, try out the other drink, and she said it was going to be a little bit sweeter. It looks that case, so uh, let's try it out. Again, the smell, definitely on the other one, was a little bit more smoky uh, with a hint of the citrus. This is almost like a grapefruit kind of thing. It smells definitely fruitier. Now we'll try it out. That one, the... I don't know how to describe it. It almost tastes almost like a vodka in a sense. Um, I'm not a huge fan of it as compared to the bourbon. I do like it, don't get me wrong. Um, but if I was gonna choose between the two, I would probably choose the bourbon. Um, I like kind of the smokiness of it. This one, just a little bit on the fruitier side and then you get kind of the bitterness at the end. Uh, it's a good drink, but scale of one to 10, I would give it maybe an eight to an eight and a half on that one. Uh, again, I do prefer the stronger, smokier bourbon that we had earlier. Yeah, we offer four different products. It's the lemon teeny, the old fashioned, the conundrum, and the red uh, the cat. Have you tried them all already? Have I've you? only tried two of the uh, four so far. That's an excellent one. Okay. You definitely want to try it. Alright, so we're about to try out our next drink, which is the Limontini, and uh, right off the bat, there's a Wrecking Ball ice cube in there. That thing is massive, but uh, the smell is very aromatic. I mean, I'm smelling lemons like crazy, and from what I've heard, they've infused the drink with the uh, lemon peels for at least 24 hours in there, but uh, I do like the color to it. Again, very, very aromatic, I guess you could say. Tons of lemons. Let's try it out, though. <laughs> that one will kick you right in the uh, face. Um, I taste lemon for a hint. Um, very strong on the alcohol. And I was even warned before I got this that this will uh, this will kick you right in the teeth. Um, scale of one to ten, I would give it maybe an eight to an eight and a half. I don't know. I'm not a huge fan of this drink, but also because I like kind of fruitier drinks. I know it sounds terrible, but. I like ones that I don't feel like I'm drinking a bottle of alcohol straight down. This one I kind of feel that way. But overall, still a decent drink, just not my forte. All right, so Phil was so gracious uh, in doing the interview. He also said that he wanted to offer a drink to us. And I said, well, I got to drive. Lauren, she can have the other drink. What kind of drink do you want? Well, how about a Shirley Temple? And he was like, I'm going to make you the best darn Shirley Temple you've ever had. Well, let's give it a try. And indeed, Phil, it is the best Shirley Temple I have ever had. 
Well guys, that is going to do it for our video here from the Strongwater Tavern where we had a chance to try out the Bellhop Bar, which is kind of neat. It's a, like a cabinet that they wheel around to the different hotel locations. And they open it up like a lemonade stand. It's got four different offerings when it comes to drinks. We had a chance to try them out. My honest opinion, I really like the smoky uh, kind of flavored one, the Angel's Envy. Uh, all of them were really good though. Lauren actually really liked them as well. Uh, scale of 1 to 10 of everything that was offered, solidly I would give it maybe a 9 on that one. Uh, I think it's a neat option and it's something else that they have available to do while you're at the hotels. Now I do want to say thank you to Lowe's as well as Universal for inviting us out to try it out. This is our first event with them so again we do want to say thank you. But overall I had a blast and so did Lauren and we're going to hopefully have more updates from here. So if you like what we do, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I will see you out on the Midway.